are watching Wayne TV, CBS Sports Wayne. This is coverage you can count on on News Channel 15's News at 6. Now at 6, round 2, the second and more powerful leg of our winter blast is here, and it's not going to stop for several hours. Good evening, I'm Heather Herring. And I'm Mark Mellinger. Snow started pounding the Fort Wayne area again a few hours ago. Meteorologist Jonathan Condor has been tracking it very closely and is standing by with the latest. And not only because it's a large storm and it's bringing some mix of precipitation, folks, this is a really dangerous situation because the winds are really going to pick up tonight. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Blizzard warning, counties highlighting red, Fort Wayne North. Winter storm warning for pink. And look at this, an ice storm warning south of Portland, down near Muncie and Indy. They're going to pick up an inch of ice in the next 12 hours. What do we get? A mix of sleet and snow. And look at live Doppler 15 Fury. See those little ripples right there? little waves of snow and sleet showers. At times, you could have some heavy snow showers come in, those northeast winds making that snow and sleet go sideways, and then maybe for about 15 minutes, you kind of catch a little break in the action. It's not that heavy, but from Portland, Bluffton, a heavy mix moving in, and boy, it goes all the way up to our friends up in our northern counties. But you see how it's kind of going in and out, the little ripples coming through? Look down to our south. Huntington places south, that's a very heavy snow moving in. So conditions are going to get... Uh, a lot worse here in the next couple of hours. Heavy snow is on the way from 12 inches north to some heavy ice south. How much you're going to pick up? I'll detail this map coming up in a few minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and get out to Kelly. Kelly Green joins us now live. Kelly, how are the roads holding up? Okay, Jonathan, I'll tell you that it is coming down really hard right now. We have uh, ice pellets, sleet, and snow. The winds are really breezing out here. But if you live out in the county, you know how quickly roads can deteriorate just during a winter storm. But you throw blizzard-like conditions into the mix, and it can make it nearly impossible for drivers and crew to actually get the, the out there to find the roads. Now, area highway departments are making a plan. They are looking for the brunt of the storm to move out first before they go out and hit the roads. At 5 o'clock in the morning, the guys will take right off from their house and head right out to their territories and uh, start in on it. With blizzard conditions, including heavy snow, reduced visibilities, and strong winds, keeping up with deteriorating roads is challenging, especially during the night. State roads are, have wide right-of-ways, and they actually have some lights and stuff. In the county, you don't, and you have roads that have a lot of curves, and you really don't want them to be out there after dark. We'll work on the priority roads first, and those are roads are like... Bass Road, Worship Center, Tonko, Coldwater, those type of roads. Allen County has a similar plan of attack starting back up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. The only time that we'll pull the trucks off the road is if it gets so bad we can't see what we're doing. Well, they are going to allow plow trucks to get to the scene of an emergency to allow emergency vehicles to actually move across the roadways. But if you can, over the next 24 hours, really limit your travel so plow trucks can get the job done. Reporting from Jefferson and Getson, a blustery Fort Wayne, Kelly Green, News Channel 15. Oh, man, nasty out there. Well, like